as we come back to green, we'll have less than 20 laps to go here at Stafford. Goodale's car just not really taking off. Uh, 21 gave Ryan Priest a, a pretty good shove there to get him ahead of Goodale. So let's see if Goodale can get back by him. But, Ralph, I'm going to keep commenting on that uh, on that front end damage on Ryan Priest's car. It's just not going to let him turn like he, like he wants to. Yeah, he's fighting it a little bit, coming off of four. You see Ronnie Silk now uh, behind Eric Goodale. I'll tell you what, though, it gets down the straightaway just fine, doesn't it? Yeah, they're not hurting for any horsepower. Salamito in the 16, trying to gain some ground, and Kobe buried deep in the Whoa. field here in the top 10. We could really shake up those point standings a little bit here today, right? Oh, these guys, I'm going to tell you what, this is this is modified racing at its best right here. They're bumper to bumper, nerf bar to nerf bar, and, you know, that's what's great about these cars. They kind of move one another out of the way, and they can bang and keep going. Less than 15 to go now. Kobe coming through on the inside. Right, There's William. some contact. Oh. Williams fighting to get it going straight again. Yeah, it looks like he might have knocked the front end out there. That might have uh, hurt him a good bit. He might not be able to recover from that. It looked like the left front was uh, towed out pretty good. Kobe might not win today in that number two, but every point he can get over those chasing him will be so helpful headed to the final race at Thompson, which you'll see here on NBCSN. Right now behind Justin Bonsignor. Yeah, and that is the guy that he is actually uh, uh, focused on right now, trying to stay ahead of with Justin Bonsignor uh, being right behind him in the points. But we see uh, Eric Goodell not closing up on Ryan Priest as much as, uh, um, much as I thought, but you do see his car able to be just a little bit better in the center of the corner. That car not as strong as it seemed earlier. Is that what you're hearing as well, Derek? You know, guys, Eric Goodale is hoping for a better finish this year than his 19th place finish last year. He has said himself he's not a good qualifier. He's not really good at putting a quick one lap down all by itself. But they were happy with the car today. They said the car feels good and it's going to race a lot better than it qualified. It's doing just that with him running in the second spot right now. Timmy Salamito working Ronnie Silk. Chase Dowling, he has really had a great day. Dowling in that black 15, looking for a top three finish. You see those guys working the wheel, you know, back and forth. That They're not just riding around. Right now, they're inside of 10 to go. Here's Here comes Dowling. Dowling. Look at that. Looking to the inside of Salamito. A little loose coming off of four, fights it off. And fights off Salamito as well as he moves them to position. Oh, Salamito so right up that <laughs> rear bumper, like, huh? Hey, kid. You know, I'm running for the points championship here. <laughs> All right, Goodale. Oh, he's on him. He's on he him. He has reeled him back in. And now he's got plenty of laps left to make an attempt on Priest. Yeah, see, Priest's car's just not as good through the center corner, and you got to wonder, did the aerodynamics hurt? Oh, and you can see how the air intake's closed up on that. Is the motor starting to get hot? So how does Goodale set him up? If He's, he's going to recognize that Ryan's having trouble in the middle of the corner. He is, and we'll have to see here, but he's probably going to maybe what they call apex a little late and try and turn or, or a little bit early and try and turn down to the bottom and just get a nose underneath of him knowing that if he holds him if he can get under him that ryan won't be able to turn when he gets to the next corner could he try to force him to run it a little bit deep into the corner too well that's he might do that with the front bumper with two to go if he can't catch yeah. him, you know depends on how bad he wants to win that's what's neat about these things but you got to remember ryan priest also knows how to protect very well well we're getting to that stage aren't we Five to go. Yeah, he's he's, he's wor trying to work that bottom. He sees Ryan struggling to hold that car down. But you can see the you know the entry and, and the center of one and two are much different than three and four as, as Goodale's taking a shot on the inside. There it is. The door is open. They got some slower traffic in front of him. Can he get the pass completed before they run up on the lappers? Down to three. Side by side. Lap cars in the way. Three wide. Oh, that's Wade Cole on the inside, and Goodale pulls it off. 
Ryan. Ryan Priest, did you see him shake his head? He's mad. Oh, I love that. That's what's great about the modified. She can see the driver. I saw him shake his head in disgust as the 58 passed him. Now, is there anything Priest can do to get him back? Boy, he runs it deep into three. Car actually held pretty decent that time. Yeah, I just don't think it's it's turning as good as it uh, as good as it needs to. I, I really believe that damage on the front of that car has taken the edge away. Eric Goodell looking for his first win of the year. One lap to go. Eric Goodell came into this race six in the point standings. Wow, this is going to be a big win for this kid. He won Bristol, and now he's about to win at Stafford Motor Speedway. And beats Ryan Priest in the process as Eric Goodell wins the Napa Fall Final 150. Uh, another good show, Ralph. Another good show. Love these modifieds. Priest will congratulate Goodell, but frustration will stay there for the driver in the six, knowing that if he could only have gotten that car to turn a little bit more, he might have had something. But today, it's all about Eric Goodell. Fans here at Stafford have seen three great modified races this season, two of them won by Ryan Priest. But today, it's all about Eric Goodell. Gets his first victory of 2017. He is ready to crawl out of that car in victory lane here. Look at the size of that smile. The driver in the cockpit of that car as he comes out. <laughs> All right, Derek. With the ice water flying, oh boy, that's cold. <laughs> Eric Goodell, you've won the fall final here at the Stafford Motor Speedway. You said you had a good long, late run car, and it looks like it just did come in when late, didn't it? Yeah, it's, it actually, it was good all day. Uh, you know, we started way back in the pack due to our uh, penalty and qualifying, and uh, I'll tell you what, Jason Shepard, Complete Chassis Solutions, this was the baddest car here today, and uh, it was a lot of fun to drive. We passed a lot of race cars today. Your crew chief said that he messed you up a little bit after qualifying yesterday, but you thought that you'd had a good car today. Did you think that you'd have enough to be able to catch Ryan Priest because he was looking really fast out there? Man, I tell you what, I knew he didn't pit earlier, and uh, I was catching him, catching him, catching him. The caution came out. So I knew if he came out behind me, we were going to be on the same two tires that it was going to be. I didn't know if he was going to take three there at the end, but two was the call. Uh, we had the best car here today, and uh, I tried to give it away on the restarts there at the end, but the better car prevailed here. Well, with his son Mason in his arm, he's going to celebrate a NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour in Victory Lane here today at the Fall Final at the Stafford Motor Speedway. Well, that's going to be a great memory right there. Well, let's look at the results. How about Kobe back in seventh and everybody who's chasing him in the points all finished in front of him? Yeah, but not by enough, Ralph. He, he hung in there and did what he needed to do. Taking a look back through the rest of the field. Rob Summers had some issues, ended up 19th today. And Woody Pickett come across the line in 25th. Let's get back down to Derek and hear from Ryan Priest. Well, Ryan Priest comes home second in the number six today, had a very strong car, a good points run for him as well. And was it just the case where Eric had a better, longer run car? Uh, no, I think it was just strategy call on their part. They made a, a good strategy to to set themselves up with what the first time everybody came out, they took a right side from when I drove by, and, and I noticed they had a new left rear on when we came back out uh, there at lap 110. So I think that's ultimately what made the difference, uh, just giving the car a little bit more forward drive. And um, I needed that a little bit, going 150 laps on that left rear definitely uh, took a toll on it. How about the points implications for this? You got a good points day today, but where do you think that this will put you going into Thompson? I don't even know where the points are at. Um, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure we could clinch the owner championship, which is, that's a great deal. You know, that's the one that really matters to us and, and to Eddie and Connie because of everything they do for us. So, um, ultimately, I mean, it kills me to not be able to win that driver championship because ultimately I think it would have, you know, I could have won it. But, um, you know, we're going to go into the World Series. We're going to try our best. And, and uh, you never know, misfortune can strike at any time. So I'm just going to go there and try to win. Anything can happen going into the last race as Ryan Priest enjoys one of his most successful seasons of racing. Well, that's the thing, Ray. You never know until it's all over. And as you can see, it's far from being done. 
Yeah, Justin Bonson, yours close within 10. Timmy Salomino within 12. Going into Thompson, anything can happen. Yeah, Priest within 19 now. So it's going to be a great race, and you'll see it here on NBCSN. Let's go down now and hear from Ronnie Silk, who Derek is standing by with. Well, when Ronnie Silk and I chatted in the pits earlier in the day, he said that he was just trying to gel with the new team that he was driving for, and looks like you guys are starting to mold into a pretty strong combination. Yeah, uh, we ran pretty good last week at Loudoun and uh, followed it up again this week with another good run. So um, just want to thank all the guys on the team. They work really hard, and, um, you know, to come home third is a good day. How was the card during the race? Do you think you had anything for Ryan or Eric? Because they looked like that they were pretty strong. Yeah, I didn't have anything for him at the end. Um, you know, I was just, I, I ran up front in the beginning of the race. I was just a little bit too free. And uh, we waited till the end to take our rear tires. And once I put them on, we made a few adjustments before that. And I was just a little bit too tight there at the end of the race with those guys. But um, still all in all, good day. And we'll try and build on that at Thompson. Podium finish for your 2011 NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour champion. Well, the next race you're going to see here on NBCSN is going to be the NASCAR K&M Pro Series West Championship. And they've got a great title fight going on there as well. The Napa Auto Parts Idaho 208 from Meridian, Idaho, coming up on Sunday, October 8th. Well, Ray, we got a non-points race to come our way from Charlotte with the Modifieds, and then we go to Thompson. Looking forward to seeing some racing at Charlotte, and then Thompson is one of the greatest places to have the Modified Finale. It's going to be a great way to wrap up the season. For Ray Evernham and Derek Pernicigalio, I'm Ralph Shaheen. So long from Stafford Motor Speedway. Congratulations to Eric Goodale on his first win of 2017.